entire time. Um, to introduce what this showcase is going to be, everybody uh, in frame currently, and a few people off of it, have submitted <laughs> a game that they can beat in five minutes or less. They have five minutes exactly to do this. If at any point a runner hits five minutes, we cut away from their stream and we move on to the next run. There is no time for going overestimate. There is no time for even saying goodbye. You finish the game, you get out. That's how it goes. Now, to assist our runners, I have purchased a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Okay, I wanted a gong, but they cost $2,000. <laughs> so, the way this works is, you have five minutes. At the four minute mark, you'll hear one of these. This is your one minute warning. Either finish your run or get out. <laughs> when you hear, the run is over, either because you finished it or because five minutes has been hit and we're cutting away from you. If the runner finishes their run, they get to do it. If they hit five minutes, I get to do it. And I love hitting a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> this has been in the works for like three years. It might still not work, <laughs> but we're here. We're going to give it a crack and we're going to go, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of who we've got uh, really quickly. Uh, not including the two people sat in front of me because they're going to get going straight afterwards. So, after the two people in here, we have Sayo Du enter the Dragonfly. <laughs> We're going to have Pitchy do Castlevania. I didn't write down the rest of the subtitles, I'm so sorry. We're going to have Nico and Ali do Kiwi. We're going to have Paul Mall do False Dream. We're going to have me do Smile For Me. Yeah. We're going to have Fox do Haven Park. We have Lucille do BB Bloxburg 3 Witch Race thing. We have Craig or Bagel do Toaster Jam. We have Caleb do Freeways. We have Kenora do Hades. We have Input Evolution do Wee Party. We have Baffy do Coffee Shop. Nate do a short hike. And the beautiful man behind the camera, Club Who, is going to finish us off with a little <laughs> bit of refunds. <laughs> but before all that, before all that, we needed to start this thing off, and we're going to start it off with something that I think is a really good way to start. We're going to start us off with a look. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Hey, we're Yay! Gonna yeah. <laughs> we're going to do a race between Li uh, Vici and Sen <laughs> in a link to the past. Any percent. Five minutes. I'm going to go that way. I'll count you in. On go is go. Excellent. I'm going to go this way. All right, runners, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Excellent. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! I, I want to give you a fist bump. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so this run starts off with like a minute of text mashing, and then we're going to do wildly different things because <laughs> Lim knows how to do this fast and I don't. Woo! Vi. <laughs> <laughs> I will get used to that eventually. Why are you faster? <laughs> what? <laughs> How did you do this? Mash better. I think the director is employing pass tactics. All right, so I'm going oh. right. This is the main difference of the route. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm heading to Hyrule Castle to save quit while jumping off a ledge in order to um, be able to clip out of bounds. Vi is just trying to do her uh, to clip out of bounds the hard way with um, a bunch of frame perfect um, <laughs> buffers and um, inputs. Okay, that's part one. But like, do you do you get a sword in your room? Because no, I think I'm the real winner here. So I'm actually doing any percent swordless as well, which is like even better. So uh, props to me. Shout outs to me. Okay. Okay, but hear me out. Swords are cool. So I'm moving up and down because if you move up into this cave, uh, you crash the game if the cave's not on the screen. So. Uh, uh, 
that's too far. So I've saved quit while jumping off a ledge, which will put Link into a glitch state. Nope. Um, which will, if, I, if I'm on a higher nope. level of a room and I get hit by an enemy, it will push me down into the lower level of the room and out of bounds. There we go. Yes. Yes. Oh. So now I'm holding down left and then left for the rest of the game. Time will come up uh, when my screen goes into a mosaic uh, effect. I'll call it out soon. It'll come up in about 10 seconds. Holding and left. now I am also out of bounds. And now it is time. <laughs> Woo! Oh. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to clap, but I also have to walk you out of bounds. Hit the triangle too. I get to hit the triangle too. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Wait. 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 This is really technical. Still some more by the walking. Way. Still some more walking. We've got. We've got two more screens. Two more screens. We're going. Hi, Gavin. Time. Time. Woo! Excellent. Get out. This one, this one, this one. Quick. That's my one. All right. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Sayo, who's currently plugging his PS2 in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep, you're good, you're good. Uh -oh. All right, Pitchy, come in. Yep, you're good. There you go. Okay, there you go. You're in. You're in. Power's Sit on. Down. You got this. I got I'm going you. in. I got you. Excellent. All right. So, I can explain the entirety of this run. All right. During this the oh, I've lost picture. And you're gonna take Sayo's once he's done. Okay. So I'm gonna explain the entirety of this run during the first loading screen because this game is remarkably terrible. This is Fire Enter the Dragonfly for the PlayStation 2 and GameCube. Um, come on, man. Um, <laughs> so there is a GameCube and PS2 version of this. Um, I just happen to own the PS2 version, even though the GameCube uh, version is significantly faster. Uh, the PlayStation 2 version loses 20 to 30 seconds per load. Um, so any day now. All right, sweet. So. I'm going to explain the whole run during this load screen because this takes about a minute 10 RTA to actually occur. When's the timer start? Uh, the timer starts on my first input. Brilliant. But you can start it now if you want. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, this, I, I have never actually played this game properly. Um, the Clock District came over to my apartment one time and just like found the copy of the game and put it in my PS2 and learned to speed on it. And so I also learned Chikotchi, learned Kidora, learned we all like a bunch of us had a good bit of fun with it. Uh, Ninten currently holds the Cyrus apartment record because uh, <laughs> Ninten's just like that. Um, so what I'm going to do, basically, I don't know, it's, apparently you get like different kind of flame breaths or whatever for Spyro. What I'm going to do is I'm going to beeline straight to the final boss portal, get in a specific position and headbutt through it, and I'm just going to go to the final boss. Um, and then I'm going to be able to actually fight the final boss by just like running at him and flaming him. I don't really know. Um, if you ask me any question about this game that exists... I anywhere between the very start and the final boss, it's game over for me. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, on the way to the final boss portal, I'm going to want to avoid uh, walking forward too much because that will... Is this it? Is this the one? Yes. So I'm going to want to avoid that section forward. <laughs> oh, no! All right, I just get a little tutorial from Sparks here about... Uh, gems which I don't want so if I go over here and I just get to this little corner here and there it is let's go there it is all right so now I just have to run at the boss and hit him with the flank that's all I have to do um, if there's any donations, so you sincerely have time to read donations during this. <laughs> okay, well, we... Well, good God, I'm so loud. Uh, we do have a $15 donation from Sunny who says, Bingus Bongus. Um, yeah. We also have $100 from Chili Pepper who says, 
Good luck to everyone in the five minute showcase. All glory to the three sided one. All right. So if we were to be timing this game properly, world record is over. <laughs> um, I, I'm not joking. By the time the PlayStation version gets to the final boss, it's it's over. So basically, I just have to chase him and shoot him with flame breath. So let's see how this goes. Hello. Okay. Hit him again. Hit him again. And then once the crystals disappear, there's three more hits. All right. I'm gonna wanna jump here so I can still move. And next hit is time. Time! Yeah! yeah! Come on! Jesus. Bang it, bang it, bang it! Yeah! <laughs> All right, thank you, Sayo. Get out. Nico and Ali, in you come. And you will be sorry. All right, one, two, All right. one, two, one, two. We got Pitsy doing Castlevania. Let's go! All right, All right we ready? Okay. We ready to go? Yep. Three, two, one, go. So if you play this game... Yes! Yes, that's right. If you play this game uh, casually, you're familiar with Hegelian dialectics, but today we'll be doing a semiotic analysis of Maxim Psyche and Castle B. Based on the Ever Problems essay on Symphony of the Night, your asshole dad is, has a castle that's back again. So, obviously, of course, if you've been in Castle B, then you're familiar that the way that Maxim perceives death is in the form of a snake with a head that is fearsome and dangerous. This is a problem. We also see that there is a boss, a, the shadow boss, which represents Maxim's inner psyche and inner doubts. The first form that it takes is a panther. That's something which is fast and lithe, but as we... Yeah. Excuse me, there we are. Fast and lithe, but also wild and uncontrollable. Maxim is not fully in control of how they're feeling about themselves. We also see that the second form of the shadow is the form of a sword phallic on its own, but also it inflicts the curse status, indicating that Maxim is not happy with this situation. The third form, once we successfully boost off this ledge. Hey. So the shadow's third form is, of course, a... Oh my goodness me, that is bad. We have to relit a save state. Which one will work there? Uh, this one will do. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oops. <laughs> uh, letting me Man, Castlevania sounds different. <laughs> uh, which one's going to work here? That's quickest. What are my save states doing? This one should. Oh my goodness me. Actually, they've got the plenty of time. Plenty of time. Alright, where were we? Yes! So the third form of the Shadow Boss fight is, of course, a butterfly or moth, symbols of, say, reinterpretation of rebirth and new life, but it inflicts the poison status, which indicates that the idea of change is, in fact, inherently, at its time, toxic. We then see the final form skips the Dracula phase and goes straight to pure body horror. Maxing is not happy with their physical self, and we can see that when we finish the boss fight quite quickly. Normally, Matt just his friends and family, but Maxing sees only himself. Uh, we, we say him himself, but I think with uh, what we've been discussing here, it's more like herself. Maxim is transgender. Time is at the orb. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Bang that triangle! Yeah! <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, Kitty. All right. We got Ali and Nico. So Ali is going to watch Nico. There you go. Yo, we are filthy cheats. We're doing two ALs back to back. Let's go. Woo! All right, time. All right, time started already. Time's already started. Go, 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 go. <laughs> It's Christmas. We want biscuits. Who wants biscuits? Okay. We gotta get these in here. Uh, not me, but that's what you're getting. So yeah, we are just playing the um, 
level here that are in the Christmas segment. Okay, well, I need chocolate and strawberry. Okay, so. We are attempting a very fine course cycle right now. Pretty good course. Chocolate. I got another sugar. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. We got the four cycle. We got the four cycle. We got the four cycle. Woo! I got this. Alright, now we just wait for this lazy cassowary. Lazy cassowary. Alright. Holy crap, that's a good time. That's a very good time. Alright, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Is all right, so part two, part two coming up. This will be quicker. Nico's yelling things, but you can't hear him. He That's says right. that this will be faster. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it won't. All right, let's go. Bird. Bird, 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 bird. We just got to get all these items onto their corresponding faces. How do you know where they go? Uh, runners do not know for a long time somehow. But we'll work it out. There are actually only two configurations. Oh, you get bird? I got bird. What do we need? Oh, that's a mouse. That's a mouse. Uh, and we need, we need, no, no, ribbon. Oh, and ribbon. Where is it? Where the heck is the ribbon? Where the heck is the ribbon? Get back here, you. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. So this is a false stream. It's a uh, puzzle horror game. We have to find the thing that's wrong with the room. And I can't find what it is. Have I missed it already? It's over here. Oh, there it is. It's this kid. All right, so we have to do this uh, eight, eight times. Oh, the painting was wrong. This entire game is just RNG, trying to find. Hello. Clock is wrong. <laughs> so yeah, actually uh, running this game is just complete RNG to try and get the thing instantly in this room and not have to go anywhere else. Uh... <laughs> oh, I missed it again. What have I missed? Come on, boy! I actually don't know what it is. What? What's wrong? Where's... Oh, it's the... Uh, that's one of the hardest ones to spot. The um, the thing is like has more things on it. It's It's got more... Oh, the door handle's wrong? Alright. Alright, so one more. We just gotta find the one more. One more. Oh, there's a hand? Oh. Alright. Oh. Alright, so that's all of them. Time's in like 10 seconds. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, so this is uh, Heaven Puck. So get ready. So get ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go. That's the wrong one. It's me. Oh, is it you? Yeah, it goes to me now. <laughs> Smile for me. Uh, it's the end about teeth. Um, I have to press a button real quick, and then we're good to go. Uh, I want this. I want the this one, and that one. Boom. All right. Uh, time starts when I uh, hit the space bar. And we know who this person is, and we say hello, 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 hello. Yes, we came here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Excellent. Have a flower. Beautiful. Excellent. You want me to give you a thing from the window? So yes, you can have them. Beautiful. Give me a hand, please. Excellent. So we get a hand. We grab these flowers. All right. So I have to show up that one. Beautiful. And I give her this, and hopefully her dialogue will cut off. Beautiful. We got the quick one. All right. So once she goes blue, we're gonna run out of this door. We're gonna run over this dude. And this dude, he's really in love with a photographer. So we go speak to him, and she's like, oh my god, this is amazing. So we go figure out her aesthetic. We run away from him. We run back to him, because we already know what she likes. So she likes the first thing he suggests, and then nothing else. This dude has no idea what she likes. All right, so we run over here. We give her the painting. All right, take it. Beautiful, we're out of here. We go talk to him. And we're like, yo, she really loved it, dude. Chalk up a win for Dallas. Beautiful, as we go in this corner. Line us up here, go here, and here. And we go through this window, run around the corner, and time is when the screen's fully white. <laughs> All right. And... Basically now, time! Woo! All right, now it's Lucky's turn. All right, Lucille, you're up. All right, so Beautiful. this is uh, Haven Park, so we'll just get ready on time. Three, two, one, go. So this is a game about uh, exploring. You're a little, uh, a little duck. Uh, your goal is to explore the... Uh, so we're exploring the, the Haven Park here uh, to find our grandmother and to restore the park. We're going to grab this wood here, and this here, uh, and immediately we have a uh, out of bounds skip here, which hopefully cooperates. The first campsite here. There's a bunch of them. We're going to see two of them. Um, first little cutscene here. There's Grandma. We found her. We're going to collect this and repair this bridge over here. Climb this wall here. Gonna clip through another wall here, as ducks do. Just like that. <laughs> And, uh, you know, ducks can't fly, as we all know, so we're going to use a cannon instead. So 
time is coming up here uh, once I reach the cutscene at the top of the mountain here. because it says Haven Park It has to be manually done. Okay, cool. Yep, this is Big Broom Race 3. Time starts now. Oh, no! Oh, no! No? No? Yes! It's fine. Go, 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 go. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, this is a racing game. Oh, oh no. I, I did the wrong strat. You're not meant to get the boost there. That's bad. Um, it went too fast. Um, so, damn, I actually have to slow down. The strat on this game is... On this track is all the bots do this slipstream boost and yeah there they go goodbye. I wanted to be in that pile. <laughs> um. Oh no, it's all gone wrong. It's a disaster. <laughs> okay, we might catch up. It might be fine. Uh, we just gotta get a nice item. There we go. Yeah, so this game does slipstream boosts, except you push the person in front of you when you do the slipstream boost, so you just go fast forever. Uh, we want to get in on that action. No, we can't catch him! <laughs> We've also got drifting, so we can get some boosts anyway. Yeah, take that. No, I missed! Oh no! Uh, somehow we're third. I don't know where all the bots went. There we go, we'll tag along with this one. Nope. Second track. Um, this one we're turning around um, if the bots will let us. <laughs> so this game has a checkpoint system, and you'll notice on the mini map these parts where the track overlaps, those are the checkpoints. So we can cross all three checkpoints in order while going backwards. And right over here, we'll hit first. Yep. Yeah! <laughs> so we just keep doing this, it's great. And the other the other funny thing to watch out for is this finish line. It's only on the left half of the track. If you go on the right, you'll just miss the finish line. <laughs> so watch out for that, casual players. Oh no. It's fine, we want to be in last again, so we can keep getting our whirlwinds. Um, there's two item boxes each time. We're hoping to get it every time. No, not lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> We're so bad. We're going the right way now. the bread game. I'm getting bread. Yeah, we love bread. Oh, bagels. Fuck it. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Well, I, I am... Sh I, no. Okay, it's fine. I'm dying. I'm dying. It's fine. It's fine. I... I... I, I collect the golden... Bread? I don't actually know what it is, to be honest. I think it's bread. I'm a toaster, I pick up bread, I get extra jump. I jump again, I get gold bread. Thank you! I agree! Yeah! I see donuts here, there's no bagel. Oh, I died to it. Oh. I'm trying! I'm trying! I can't. No. Oh, no, it's fine. We got her doing it. There we go. I did that wrong. For a clip here. This is this is precise. This is right. All right, get high. Get come on, come on. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Take, no. Taking a shortcut here. No, go through the shortcut. Okay, it's fine. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What are you doing? I got. It's it's fine. It's it's oh oh. We're so back. We're so back. 
Another shortcut. No, okay, this is even harder. This is fine. Come on, we got this. Yeah! yeah. All right, second to last level, all right? No! Stop dying. This is time. Uh, and time. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. I'll I, I try my best here. I'll try my best here. Okay. Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Okay. All right. Tenora, you're up. All right. Now for a run. He can't go over on. It's All right. This is free race time. We'll start when the screen starts moving. So start time. Um, so the goal of the game Woo. is to make some nice freeways, but instead we're just going to make a complete mess of them and they're not even straight, but that's fine. The other way we do freeways is roundabouts. Everyone knows the most efficient way to get around is a roundabout. So let's do that. Amazing. <laughs> Sorry, joins up. The most efficient design, everyone knows it. <laughs> Although this one might not work, we'll see. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> I didn't think that one was going to work. Go on, go on. There we go. There we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Very fast. And then into the last level. And we're going to change it up this time with a roundabout. And time will be at the end of this. And time! Yeah! Excellent, thank you, Caleb. That's good. <laughs> All right, this is Haiti. Time will be very soon. In about three, three, two, one, go! This is Haiti. Our, our job here is to try to kill the. Oh, I, I've lost visual. Oh, we've got it back! We're so back! We want to try to get to the shop as fast as we can so we can kill the game super boss. Up the Hades! I'm playing as Hades! Wait, no, I'm playing as Zacharias! I'm playing as Hades, son of Hades! I'm John Hades! We're gonna go fight a big man with a big oar! I don't know anymore. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm trained after crowd control. Who was here for crowd control? I've again lost visual. We are trying to go as fast as we can to try to find the shop. Shop is probably at the end of this chamber. We love big shops. Oh. Is this going to be the shop? Transfer. Shop! Let's go! I lost visual again! Alright, here we go! Let's... <laughs> There's the big man with the big oar! He has three phases again, I can't see! Why can't I see? We're so back. All right, he swings the big oar. We want to avoid the big oar. Oh. 
All right, he's got three health bars. All right, that's one. That's me, I'm Kenora. Lacey didn't even remember that, remember that when I... Okay, that's health bar two. We're gonna quickly kill him with our boyfriend. Let's go. Fuck, I missed. All right, time will be once I pick up the loyalty card from defeating him. Oh. The time. That's the thing, that's the thing. Let's go. Yeah. All right, we're going to Bathy. All right, can you help? All right, who's ready to open a coffee shop? Woo! Can I get a countdown? Yeah. Three, three, two, two one, go! Do not do this in real life, by the way. You actually kill uh, your customers. Time is coming up very soon. And that's time! Yeah! Alright, now you're on. Alright! Alright, we're going to Input Evolution. It's Sweet Party in 3, 2, 1, go! This is Sweet Party. This is Bank Connection. You're about to see the craziest part of this task. Yeah, so the big the big thing that a slightly shorter load time. That was the big RNG manipulation of the run. Now we see the category that's less interesting. <laughs> you you wanna you you wanna test your true friendship? You play Wii Party Fun Connection. Five minute game mode. Um you answer questions. Yeah. <laughs> now there's three options. Alright. Now it's time for the mini game, the other RNG manipulation of the run. Fly Cycle Team, let's see how great they are at cooperating in this mini game. Head on up! Head on up! Alright, time will be in like. Time will be uh, like a couple seconds after the results appear. Let's see how good they are out of 100. Now. All right, time's passing awesome. three, two, one, go. Let's go! Uh, I didn't practice commentary. I barely practiced this game, so uh, you're lucky that um, I'm even here. <laughs> Let's go! So we got this little bird and we're going for a little walk uh, up a mountain. The goal is to get to the top of the mountain. Alright, 
we got to collect a few feathers because feathers help us climb somehow. Uh, all right, we got two feathers. So there's some things that I'm going to jump on, and if I jump on them a certain way, it'll give me like more height and speed. So this little flower thing here that I'm going to water. Alright. Yes! Alright. That was the, like, that's the big trick that I was really worried about. So we're, we're good. We should be alright. <laughs> Just like a big wait, I gotta mash A for the big dialogue. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen for a while, just relax. <laughs> and then we're gonna have a phone call with our mom, and then we're gonna jump off the mountain all the way back home, and then time ends when I get back in my house. <laughs> oh, where is she? She's gonna call any moment now. Come on, mom. The jump down to the house is actually kind of hard because, uh, I don't know. <laughs> right, I missed it, but we should be alright. It's over here somewhere, I swear. Where's my house? Here's my house! This is Refox! Yes! Fuck! Whoopsies. <laughs> anyway, do you got any donations to read while we do this bit? <laughs> do you actually want some donations? Because we have so many. Yeah! Yeah, give us two, give us two. Give us two? Well, we have $400 from Yuki Layla. Whoa! Whoa! One that says, let's go ASM, get stuck in, and let's go ASM, another 200 for 8K. We what am I doing? 8K mark, everyone. Woo! 
Let's try a strat I've never done before. I failed. <laughs> Let's go. We got two skips coming up. Let's see if I can get him. I missed one. Spiral skip, come on, brother. I got the yellow. Let's go. Show the crowd. Someone on the camera, show the crowd. My whole team depends on it. And then we'll just pretend like it never happened. Excellent. All right. Thank you, everybody, for the first ever, potentially last ever, considering how much my heart has been fucking going. Five minute game showcase. They said it couldn't be done. They said we'd never get it. Work. And what did you do? And we bleeded it. Out. Yes! Give your thanks to the runners, they're the fucking best! Give your thanks to Tech, they're even better than that! Give your thanks to the host, Chocolatee's T's a legend! Let's go Dylan, let's go Chocolatee, let's go all the runners! I'm gonna go have a nap, let's go! 